Probably the first chemical I ever dealt with when I was a kid was this stuff right here, disappearing ink. I believe this may have been the first purchase I ever did. I bought a little bottle of this stuff, and I said, this looks really cool. And I read what cryptic directions there were. I had no idea how it worked. But I had a little brother named Kevin, and that's, for tr that's a true story, Kevin. Kevin was sitting there, and I simply put some on Kevin. Well, I'm going to show you what happened, because I have a bigger bottle here. If you know chemistry, you can, instead of purchasing it for a quarter when I was a kid, it's now probably a buck, maybe two bucks, you can make up your own stuff for about a nickel, for about a liter of it. This isn't a liter, but it's, it is ink stuff, disappearing ink stuff. And this isn't my brother Kevin, by the way. <laughs> and I always like to have somebody that can't catch me when I do this demonstration. So she's got some crutches here. Do you want to, this is a famous chemist called Linus Pauling. Um, if you would just hold that out a little bit, I'm going to pour some of this disappearing ink on you. And that's what I did to my brother. He poured ink on me and he ran to my mother. By the time he got to my mother, it had disappeared. It was still wet, so she couldn't yell too much at me. Now, it's still a little bit pink. Now, the chemistry behind this is there's a gas that you all exhale. And I said exhale. If you would all exhale towards her, come on. A lot of garlic out there, isn't there? <laughs> He's breathing towards them. This gas is, of course, carbon dioxide. It will dissolve in there, and it will neutralize the solution. Because what's going on in here is this contains an acid base indicator called thymol thaline. And thymol thaline is a slightly basic solution of a pH of uh, above 9, I believe, 9.5, will be this nice bluish purple color. Below that, a little bit below that, it'll turn to colorless. Now, when you make this up, don't make it too strongly basic. One, that's not good to get on people. Two, it may not change color for a long period of time, in which case the person may not be doing good things to you. <laughs> All right? But this changed over rather quickly. You can see it is now essentially colorless. Um, the acid base indicator, again, is thymol thaline, a slightly basic solution. In neutral, this turns into a colorless indicator. Now, this, is, this can be used many times during the school year. When you're introducing acid base, it's a good way to introduce the concept of acid base and indicators. If you're teaching AP chemistry, this is a very rich demonstration. Why? Because the acid is carbon, or the acid is really carbonic acid. Carbon dioxide is a acid and hydride. On the AP test, they used to ask you to write reactions. One of the reactions they almost always ask, they'd give you some nonmetal oxide. A nonmetal oxide plus water is an acid and hydride. That dissolves in there, neutralizes the base, so the pH starts to drop below the kickover point, and the indicator turns to colorless. This is a nice way to get them to think about acid and hydrides commonly missed on the AP test. So how do you feel? Wet. Wet. <laughs> and that's about it. Okay. Thank you.